disappointment in the game of life. To be perfectly honest, it feels really unfair to rank Surf's Up 2 Wave Mania as a part of this list for one simple fact. It is not a movie. It is a feature length commercial. And no, I'm not exaggerating. This isn't like other movies that are filled with excessive product placement, yet at their core can still be considered feature films, like Space Jam 2, Ralph Breaks the Internet, or even the Emoji Movie, which I'm sure you all expected to be at the bottom of this list. And now as we speak, you're probably editing your smug comments that read, I will bet my entire life savings that the Emoji Movie is at the bottom of this list. There has never been a more obvious bottom spot in any ranking video ever. And you're editing those comments to just say, Oh. Shit. You see, none of you understand the soul-sucking awfulness that is this commercial. And yes, I fully consider Surf's Up 2 to be nothing more than a commercial for WWE. This product was conceived as a commercial when WWE approached Sony regarding making a product that would help expand their brand and reach a new generation of audiences. So yeah, it is a textbook advertisement that they slapped the Surf's Up IP onto because they fundamentally misunderstood everything about the original movie. Every single element of this commercial is wrong. Spoilers for later in the list, but the original Surf's Up is pretty Kino, as the kids say. It has an extremely unique mockumentary format, like the entire movie is presented as if it's a documentary, with shaky cam, characters acknowledging the camera crew, and just an overall vibe of authenticity. It's one of the most unique animated films I've ever seen, solely based on how it's presented. Do you think this commercial kept that framing device up or evolved the concept in some way? Who the f do you think you're kidding? Of course not! That would take effort! And why put effort into a literal WWE commercial? They just film it like any normal quote-unquote movie would be filmed. They could only be bothered to make like 12 character models for this commercial. The WWE stand-in animals are incredibly flat, boring characters, because we can't do anything that paints any of them in a negative light, because that would go against the purpose of this advertisement. But you know who we're perfectly fine with painting in a negative light? main character. Cody in this is insufferable, mainly because he straight up just is not the same character. He's an annoying prick who's overly obsessed with winning and being famous. Even though the entire point of the first movie was that he learns that winning and being famous isn't important. He learned all that from his idol in a really compelling way. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, what idol? Big Z? Never heard of him! Apparently, this whole time, contrary to everything the first film tells you, Cody was never inspired to be an amazing surfer like Big Z. He was inspired by Penguin John Cena and his legion of super friends! In this commercial, Big Z might as well have never existed, and Cody's entire backstory and motivation as a character is thrown in the garbage. I have never seen a more perfect example of character assassination in my life. The writers of Game of Thrones could probably watch this commercial and say to themselves, Well, at least we didn't f*** up that badly! I could tell five minutes into this ad that it was one of the worst things I've ever seen. But the thing that really solidified it was later in the movie, when they're sailing over lava and Cody goes out of his way to try and sabotage Tank. Which, in case you've seen the first movie, which these writers clearly did not, is the thing that Tank does to other surfers because he is the villain. But let's have our protagonist do the same thing in a much more dangerous scenario in the second installment after he's already learned a lesson in the first installment. And that valuable lesson he learned in the first movie was not don't attempt to murder people in order to win a competition. Because that's something he already f***ing KNOWS! As a result of this chicanery, he nearly gets his best friend Chicken Joe killed in Molten Lava, and doesn't seem to be concerned about Joe's life, he's just concerned about justifying his shitty actions to the WWE. So they rightfully tell him to f*** off, and he does, and you might as well just end this here, who even cares anymore? Surf's Up 2 makes Cars 2 look like The Empire Strikes Back, and it makes Earwig and the Witch look like Citizen Kane. Dear Evan Hansen? More like, Dear God, it's so much better than this piece of f***ing ass. I have not hated a product this much since Artemis Fowl, which, if you remember, is my actual least favorite movie of all time. This train wreck literally only exists so Sony can suck off these WWE stars while destroying everything the original Surf's Up had going for it. It has absolutely nothing to offer and should not be watched by anyone, regardless of if they like the original film or not. Vince McMahon fantasizes about drinking milk directly from a fish's udder.
Yep.